Well, now to videos of cars doing donuts on fiery Austin streets being seen across the country and city leaders say they don't want it to happen again. City Council members and the mayor say they're speaking with police about how to prepare for and respond to street takeovers like the ones we saw Saturday night. And KXAN's The Hair Rock Bond reports now the chain of events highlights a long-standing city problem, a 911 staffing shortage. It blocked the intersection. Just off of Barbara Jordan Boulevard, Luis and Elida Bonet left a concert at the AISD Performing Arts Center to find a different show happening on the street. Probably five or six different cars just, you know, drifting, you know, burning tires. A street takeover similar to what happened the same night in other parts of the city. Elida says she waited for about three minutes for 911 to answer her call. So much smoke. It was scary. In a statement Monday, Mayor Kirk Watson said the 911 call center had, quote, unacceptably long waits on Saturday. And he's speaking with APD about at least a temporary solution to 911 staffing shortage. I'm happy to know that the city is taking the concerns of council seriously and addressing them. City Council Member Mackenzie Kelly says she reached out to APD's Emergency Communications Division Monday, finding out they still have 63 unfilled positions for 911 call takers and dispatchers. Not much progress from the 70 open positions we reported at the end of 2022. The wait time on the phone call was surprising. Scary moments for those waiting on the line for help. Well, you hear the fireworks, you hear all that, you hear everything that goes in the schools, and you're thinking, oh no, what is going to happen now? And I imagine that went through the mind of a lot of people. Bahra Rahman, KXAN News. And in an update to City Council Member Kelly today, APD's Emergency Communications Department also provided its latest response times. Between January 15th and 31st, the department said its average response time to its most urgent calls was 11 minutes. Last year, police staffing researchers said an ideal response time would be 6 minutes 30 seconds.